Hello guys, I'm in uh, Greece, in uh, Thessaloniki, and I'm um, here to show you uh, some um, persimmon varieties that I managed to find. I'm gonna start with this one, the small one. It's actually a, um, the zero variety. This has been growing on my uh, trees here in the Thessaloniki, in the, my garden. Uh, this was the first time my tree was giving some fruits. Uh, and it was mostly unwatered, uh, so the, the fruits are relatively small. Uh, this is in comparison the kind of a bigger zero variety, a bigger fruit uh, bought from uh, the market. Um, and I was able to find even bigger than this, but uh, this is a kind of a normal size, I would say, so you can compare those two. Uh, this one here is what uh, people call a karaliok. karaliok. Um, it has seeds inside compared to the other ones which are completely seedless. Um, in terms of the taste, uh, it doesn't have any acidity, so you can uh, eat it straight away. You don't even have to freeze it. Uh, you just eat it as you get it from the tree as well. Very similar to these ones too. Uh, but I think the main difference here is the shape. These are more kind of a pressed. This is more rounded. And this has, Karaliok has also seeds. Uh, some bigger fruit here. I don't even remember if they had a, a variety name for it. I don't even remember. But um, it has a distinguished shape and size and color. And this is something that they call the uh, Milolotos, but it's very, very similar name to um, to these ones. So I think the direct translation is something like persimmon apple fruit. Uh, it has a slightly more um, light color compared to these ones, you can see. I'm gonna open one and a half to see basically how they look like inside. If you compare this to that, you can see the seeds, yeah, look at the colors, completely different. I'm going to give a taste trial to this one, let me see. Mm. These ones are a little bit more astringent. In fact, very astringent. 